All right, good afternoon. Thank you for your patience as we tried to make sure everyone was here with us today. All right, welcome. I invite all of you to please stand at this time as Father Ray leads us in prayer. We pray, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit, but we're so impressed, especially how the scriptures from Isaiah, chapter two, verse 11, they talk about especially those gifts of the Holy Spirit that are so intellectual. There's wisdom and counsel and understanding, the very things that this National Junior Honor Society is all about. We're asking such a grace right now that those gifts that were given to us specifically in baptism might be stirred so lively, even as we honor those, as we already see in foretaste, those great gifts of understanding and fortitude, fear of the Lord, wisdom, counsel, and knowledge. These great blessing prayers we offer now, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Ray, Mrs. McDonough could not be here right now, but we do have uh, Mr. DeMaro is gonna be uh, uh, standing in today. Faculty, parents, candidates, and students, welcome to the 2021-2022 NJHS induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for having successfully completed their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. We are very proud to be inducting our newest group of members into our St. John's chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 2016. And with today's ceremony, indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. In addition to the strong academic records which established your eligibility for membership, our new chapter members are role models for other students. They lead by example as they serve our school and community. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these inductees who will bring energy and enthusiasm to our chapter of NJHS as active and productive chapter members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all those in attendance that membership in the St. John's School Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for the society. We will now review these qualities for the candidates. Ava Curry will come to the altar and light one candle to represent each quality as they are read aloud by some of our current NJHS student members. Emma, if you would go ahead. Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship.
Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Citizenship is the obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. Character. Character is a force within each individual that distinguishes one person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows sub steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and uh, striving daily to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others by demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship. We may hope to prove by example that we value character.
All right, at this time, will the new members please stand to join me and the current members as well in reciting our pledge. The pledge can be found in your program on the bottom left. All right, we'll say together, I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands, maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, citizen, and character. Thank you, you may be seated. All right, if I can invite uh, Father Ray to the front of the altar and Mr. DeMauro to come by the table and we'll get ready to uh, have the candidates come receive their certificates. Once you receive your certificate, please stop in the center aisle to face the audience so that your, your family can get their photo, then return to your pew using the center aisle. All right, if I could have my new inductees on the Sacred Heart side, starting with Parker, if your row could please stand. New candidates, go ahead and stand. All right, and as I call your name, would you please come up, and Mr. Morrow and Father Ray will certainly uh, congratulate you as you come forward. 2021 inductees, Parker Samuel Armsworthy. Austin Bishop. Angela Bradley. Jacob Crane. If my new inductees can slide over and then it lets the other ones come through. Okay, Connor Dombrowski. Barbara Lopez Herrera. Keith Magel. Right, if I could have those on my Blessed Mother side, new candidates, please stand up. And you're gonna be following, you're gonna be coming out and around and just move down as the next candidate's called, okay? Andrew Marshall. Christina Pham. Alexis Soros. Allysaurus. Charlie Steele. William Aaron Taylor.
Emma Wilmore. And I'm going to ask is those who just got their certificates, if you want to remain standing, can I have my first group? Can you please turn and I'd like to present to you the newest members of our NJHS. Please stand and face your families. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you our new members of the St. John's Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. Mr. DeMauro for uh, short remarks. I want to thank all of our parents and family members for joining us in this ceremony. Um, it's a pleasure to acknowledge our students um, in an academic honor society. As we all know, uh, academics really reflect all of our human qualities, which really make us more and more in the image and likeness of God. So. As students who pursue strength in academic areas, in the areas of the National Junior Honor Society, such as service and leadership, really make us and conform us more and more to Jesus' image and likeness, um, and model that for those of us around us. So thank you to all of our parents uh, for being here, and congratulations to all of our students. Thank you, Mr. DeMauro, for your comments and the support of uh, parents and all those of you who uh, are faculty members. I'd like to also thank Father Way for being able uh, to be present here today. We truly are grateful to all of you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to be with us to celebrate such a special occasion. Thank you also right, to the faculty members who dedicated their time and energy into organizing this ceremony and for those who are supporting our NJHS chapter here at St. John's. Our school would not be the great school it is if it were not for you, your dedication and your support. Thank you again for all those attending our NJHS induction ceremony. Please join me once again in applauding our new inductees. Just two brief announcements. Uh, new inductees, your new shirts have been ordered. We expect them to be in after Easter. So you will be able to wear those every Friday masses. So that will become part of your uniform. So you can wear that instead of your regular uh, St. John shirts. And then number two, this comes from Mrs. Conroy. Um, families, you are, we have the members have been packed up. So you are welcome to just take their items, which we dropped off in the St. Jude room and you may go ahead and take their siblings and you may just go directly and dismiss. Um, so they ask that you don't need to visit the office as initially instructed, they wanted to get you uh, moved on your way before we have our dismissal and, and the, the bus is here. So again, thank you so very much for coming today. Again, congratulations to our members. And again, thank you for our current members for being uh, here to support. You remember all too well, uh, last year was our first ceremony back after two years. So it, it's nice to see everyone back again, no masks, right? So thank you again.